Hey Gizmo here, welcome to the Man Cave. Um, I'll just put this little short video together just to show you some of the um, things that I've made and why I get the name Gizmo. It's because um, over the years I make stuff and people call me Gizmo because of all the things I make. Because I'm into electronics, I'm into uh, making stuff with wood, I'm into all sorts of things. And um, my friends and family and my work colleagues just gave me the name Gizmo because of all the things that I made. So here's some of the little things that I've made, just a short one, just to sort of clarify that for you. Let's get on with it. just finished making myself a little knife, a little survival knife. Now this is the first knife I've ever made. I've restored a knife before but this is the first one I've ever made from scratch. I've made myself a lanyard and a little buckle and a knife. And it's made out of high tensile um, machine steel and the, the handle is made out of pine with a rosewood tip and it's got a round bit on the front for or scraping a fire steel. It's got a, a smooth and round bit there for my thumb if I'm paring off timber. It's got a rope cutter on the side of it or a um, cord cutter on the side that I've made. So it's a nice wide little knife. It's also got a sharpened end and a point that can be used as a spear if need be. And I've put a lanyard on it, a um, glow in the dark like reflective lanyard so I don't lose it at night. Yeah, it's my first little knife I've ever made. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I sort of got that urge to uh, have a go and make some more. This is the first little knife that I made, and if you've seen any of my other videos, you would have seen this knife. It's a great little knife. It's a bit dirty now from the last time I used it because I didn't bother cleaning it, but um, it's great for scraping my fire steel, and you can see me using that. Yeah, there's one. Okay, there's another one. That's all it'll take. See this little lanyard clips on. There we have it. My first little knife. It's got a little leather strap so I can clip it on my belt. And I looked at a few videos online of how to actually make a lanyard. I ended up just making it up myself because um, none of them actually fit the knife that I had made. So it's sort of unique to this knife. And um, yeah, I have got to stain this um, leather to a nice colour. I didn't have any stain so that'll be the next step process for this but yeah the first ever knife i've made um, i made this uh handle for this fire steel and i've got a video for that i've got this piece of american oak and i'm going to shape it and make a nice handle for this fire steel so let's get on with the video There we go. Two um, two very different coloured fire steel handles. Well, that's it. That's Gizmo's fire steel. I guess the next thing to do is to head out in the bush and try it out.
There you go. Woohoo! The next knife I had, which I've showed on a few of my videos before, is my Opinel. Now I found this in the bush. Um, it was just completely destroyed. It was all corroded. The handle was all corroded. It was pretty much gone. I had to um, drill out the core of it because it was completely, it had wet rot inside it. So the whole core of this knife was all wet rot. This part of the handle was almost snapped off. So I actually cut an old broom handle, stuck it inside, glued it inside and then recut the saw, saw slit because this knife is pretty unique as it folds. Folds up, opens up, so it's not a bad little knife. This is a number nine, Opinel. The handle twists around and you can lock it in place. So that's one another thing that I've played around with and made. And I've got a um, another like reflective lanyard on it so I don't lose it because it was lost and now I don't want I don't want to lose it because that was um, pretty good. I've also put Gizmo's Adventures on the handle. You can see that. Gizmo's Avengers written on the handle. There it is. It mightn't look like much, but I'll tell you what, at the end of a long day, if you can sit down, you've got something to lean on. Boy, that just makes so much difference. Instead of squatting down over a log like that, you can just lean back. Now I've got a chair with a backrest. How easy was that to make? So simple. So all you really need is um, probably three sticks, I think the paracord, and a rock or a log to sit on, and wow, this is just really comfortable sitting here like this. Now, while that mightn't seem like much the way it is at the moment, boy, you can do some good stuff with this. I'll show you now. I got my sleeping bag. I'm going to fold it in half. Top. Now look at that, I've got a really comfortable lounge chair, <laughs> that's just fantastic, now I can just relax and chill, awesome. Now I said you needed a roll of paracord, well you don't really even need a roll of paracord to make this chair, you can. Just use, if you've got a spare t-shirt or a pillowcase, sometimes I take a pillowcase in the bush with me to um, use as a pillow. What you can do with a pillowcase is, for the backrest, I don't know if you can see this, but I've cut the two corners out of this pillowcase. I can shove a stick through there. Remember, the same thing can be done with a t-shirt. So, I can shove that stick through there. I can shove the two long sticks down through there. I can shove the two long sticks down through there. And essentially, I've made exactly the same thing. I've got a backrest on my chair by just using a pillowcase. And you could stick this through the sleeves of your t-shirt and then down the sleeves of your t-shirt. Do exactly the same thing. And you can use this for backboard rest. So you don't really even need a length of paracord. Some of you have been asking me how I set up the uh, gizmo bush chair without any paracord using a pillowcase or a t-shirt. Well I'll show you how and um, I'm just going to use my little bush saw. Here's another thing that I made on my making stuff channel, a little bush saw. Um, I'm just going to make it up with a little bush saw. Now the reason you don't need any paracord is because I'm going to get a stick, stretch it in between these two things and just spread it out and use the pillowcase to keep it taut and that'll keep that backrest in place and won't collapse on itself. What I need to do is find a stick about that long with a fork in it. Okay, here we go. This has got a nice fork in it, but it's a little bit long. It's actually perfect for this. It's a little bit long. See, it fits there, but it's just too long, so I can't jam it in. So what I need to do is I need to cut a V 
in this end of it here and then jam it in there. That'll hold the top in place. So I'll do that now with my little saw. One thing, the reason why you carry a saw rather than an axe when you go stealth camping too is because axe, that bang, bang, bang makes a really loud noise. The saw doesn't make anywhere near as much noise as an axe does. Look how beautiful this thing cuts. There we go, I've made, it, made, I've made a rough V in the end of that. So now all I, all I need to do is to ram that V in there and ram that other V down onto there. And there we go. There's my backrest done. My chair. No paracord, no nothing. I mean, I could have used a t-shirt if I had a t-shirt. But um, this is quite a comfortable chair. I can just relax now. Camp with a backrest. Pretty good, pretty amazing. Pretty simple to make. And you can see me making my bush chair here. <laughs> this whole video seems like a flog of all my other videos, but I can't help that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just super simple. And sometimes, like me when you're getting old, you just want to chill and relax when you're in camp. So there you go, there's some of the things that I've made. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, just to give you an idea of the where I got my name, Gizmo. Some of the things that I made, like I made this knife. Um, I um, went and collected some grass tree resin with this last week, but I'm going to use this for my steak tonight, because I've got a steak for dinner. So I'll be able to use my nice little tiger knife that I made. the latest in making stuff on Gizmo's Adventures, my little tiger knife and I'm happy with how it turned out. Uh, the stripey is a lot more subtle than I originally planned but I like it that way. Um, it doesn't look too overpowering. Uh, yeah that's the new, could do with a bit more um, buffing up the handle but the all new tiger stripe Gizmo knife. I need to put a lanyard on it, I need to make a sheath, I might actually make that my next video, making the sheath for this. I'm going to use some industrial speaker carpet and make a sheath with that. So there it is. Got my steak. Oh, there's a mozzie wants a piece of steak. Got my steak. My new tiger knife, which cuts the steak really, really well. Look at that. Just cuts through it like butter. Um, yeah. I'll see you on the next video. <laughs> Bye.